可能在所有的亚裔里头，现在印度后裔的人在美国政坛是最耀眼的，像贺锦丽，他是父亲牙买加，母亲是印度后裔。然后呢 ，Vance 的妻子，万斯的妻子是完全印度后裔，他的爸爸妈妈都是来自于印度非常高阶的家庭啊。那他是全印度呢最有名的印度理工学院，要不然就在那里，他的祖父在那边。是教授，爸爸在那里求学，后来呢就在美国移民 San Diego 大学担任教授工程学，妈妈教授分子生物学，所以父母亲都是教授。这是他的妻子的背景。他们两个人呢 ，Vance 的妻子呢，他的名字叫乌莎 Vance 啊，他是当时在耶鲁的时候两个人认得的。这次共和党党代表大会里头，其实他上台讲话对 Vance 的加分非常的高，他。回答了一个很简单的问题：他们两个背景差异这么大啊，当然他很客气说他是 middle class， 所以他们是来自于印度比较高层的这个阶级。来到美国呢，也都是两父母亲都是大学教授。那他这个人是一个穷光蛋，从 Ohio 靠奖学金来到耶鲁法学院读书。他为什么愿意跟他交往？他为什么愿意嫁给他？嫁给这个穷光蛋？他答案是他很有趣，他对许多事情都打开。他的眼睛充满了好奇心，而且他有无比的决心和毅力。Good evening. When I was asked to introduce my husband, J.D. Vance, to all of you, I was at a loss. What could I say that hasn't already been said before? After all, the man was already the subject of a Ron Howard movie. J.D. has shared much of his life through his own eloquent words. In his book, *Hillbilly Elegy*, during his Senate campaign, and now as a sitting United States senator, it occurred to me that there was only one thing to do: to explain from the heart why I love and admire J.D. and stand here beside him today, and why he will make a great Vice President of the United States. I met J.D. in law school when he was fresh out of Ohio State, which he attended with the support of the GI Bill. We were friends first because, I mean, who wouldn't want to be friends with J.D.? He was then, as now, the most interesting person I knew. A working-class guy who had overcome childhood traumas that I could barely fathom to end up at Yale Law School. A tough Marine who had served in Iraq. But whose idea of a good time was playing with puppies and watching the movie Babe? <laughs> the most determined person I knew, with one overriding ambition: to become a husband and a father, and to build the kind of tight-knit family that he had longed for as a child. My background is very different from JD's. I grew up in San Diego, in a middle-class community. With two loving parents, both immigrants from India, and a wonderful sister, that JD and I could meet at all, let alone fall in love and marry, is a testament to this great country. It is also a testament to JD, and it tells you something about who he is. When JD met me, he approached our differences with curiosity and enthusiasm. He wanted to know everything about me, where I came from, what my life had been like. Although he's a meat and potatoes kind of guy, he adapted to my vegetarian diet and learned to cook food from my mother, Indian food. Before I knew it, he had become an integral part of my family, a person I could not man. Could not imagine living without. The JD I knew then is the same JD you see today, except for that beard. <laughs> and and his goals in this new role are the same that he has pursued for our family: to keep people safe, to create opportunities, to build a better life, and to solve problems with an open mind. <laughs> 